Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Benjamin Okezie Kano, has invited memoranda from Nigerians across all sectors as the Committee on Constitution Review prepares to commence its work. During its inauguration in Abuja on Monday, the, the committee draft report of the ongoing review of the 1989 Constitution and the final draft for presidential assent will be completed by August 2024 and 2025, respectively. Here's the report. In Abuja on Monday, the committee had set a 24-month timeline for concluding the exercise. At a subsequent press conference held by the House Committee on Constitution Review, Carlo affirmed that the committee aims to produce the first draft report on the 1999 Constitution by August 2024. Mm. Additionally, after voting by lawmakers on crucial national issues in both chambers of the National Assembly, the final clean copy for presidential assent Will also be prepared. Many have asked the question why did we set, set 24 months as a target to wind up this activity? And we have answered that over and over again. One of the reasons being that we want to finish it before the timetable for elections steps in so that our action on the issues that we attend to will not be seen with the spectacle of politics and will not be seen with the coloration of one political party or the other. Carlo outlined several key thematic areas that will feature prominently in the hearings, including discussions on federal structure and power devolution, local government autonomy, public revenue and fiscal federation, gender issues, strengthening oversight of MDAs and the advocacy for state police, among others. And permit me to start by announcing to Nigerians that we have selected consultants of no mean persons across the seized geopolitical zones of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to lead this walk from the corners of their experience and expertise. We have also, in the course of doing this, respected gender inclusion. So, among the list of consultants that we mentioned now, we insisted that the women must be represented. The Deputy Speaker also urged Nigerians from all works of life to submit memoranda on any other matter that promotes good governance and the welfare of citizens based on the principles of freedom, equality and justice.